looking at little SUVs. It's my little Chevy Sonic. Doesn't cut it where we it's live. It's so light. I've always drove a small car, but this one's exceptionally light that any amount of slush on the ground pulls. Pulls my car everywhere. And living in central New York, we literally can have winter like up to eight months here. So we're just going to try to see what I could possibly get for a trade-in today and um, take a look at some options. Jason has told me basically to keep my mouth shut <laughs> because... I tend to say too much with the dealer and you want to negotiate and be very strategic, which I'm not so good at, I'm going to be honest, not in these types of situations. Jason is like really good at negotiating because he can be a wicked dickhead. <laughs> like, I love you, babe, but like, he's got like dick status down. Only if I need to <laughs> and, be. But he's good with like... Only if I have to. You have to stay only if I have to be. I don't need a car. Nope, we're good. Yep. Nope. Like he gives as little information as possible and like also like pushes them to give us information that normally people wouldn't get. Like remember with your Sunfire? Or wait, no, with the car you bought, you wanted to see like what they bought, how much they paid for it. Like yeah. you wanted the invoice and mm -hmm. so every time he asks a question, I just keep looking at Jay. I'm like, you answer because I'll say something wrong and then we'll leave and he'll be like, I told you not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get in trouble and we'll bicker. <laughs> So he's out um, looking at my car right now, trying to get a quote on it. The hope is, even though I'm not really optimistic with this, is to get basically as much as I still owe on it. I still have three years left to pay on it. So that would be the goal, to get as close to that number as possible. <clears throat> looking at the Chevy Equinox. Jason thinks the Trax is too small. Equinox is a little bit bigger, all-wheel drive. Vet visit. Vet visit. Find out what's going on with little man. Like, I gotta take a pee. <laughs> I gotta take a leak. I've been holding it all day. <laughs> huh. Alright. No. So we're thinking he has a UTI again? That, well, I don't know if it ever went away or okay. not, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so what's kind of been going on? Barbital okay. procedures. And then are you still giving the um, fish oils and Benadryl? Um, we Hey guys, I was craving a giant ass salad. I love big ass salads and I'm always disappointed when I go out to restaurants and order salads because they never put enough stuff in there. Like you order a salad with strawberries in it and they give you like one strawberry cut up in teeny tiny pieces. So um, I wanted to have a huge salad and it's pretty epic. It's really freaking heavy so I thought I'd show you what I put in there for those that can appreciate big ass salads. Um, for starters, it makes it more fun if you just use like a giant bowl. So I'm using like a big bowl and this whole thing is like full. I mean that sucker's heavy. And what I have going on in there is, sorry the lighting's not stellar over here, but I've got, let's bring it to better lighting. I've got the butter lettuce from Trader Joe's. Um, that stuff is so good because it's kind of like a softer lettuce. Gross. That's nasty. Wash your hands. Um, it's kind of like a softer lettuce. Find better lighting. Yes, yes. And then I also mixed in there that cruciferous crunch. So I mixed in like a serving of each, which ends up being like four cups of greens. And then I've got caught up some yellow bell pepper. I've got um, four ounces of turkey burger that I cooked up and just cut up in there. I've got an ounce of goat cheese. I've got like half a serving, a little less of that, of sunflower seeds in there. And then I've also got, I can't really tell, but I've picked up some dried cherries today. You guys haven't, if you guys haven't tried dried cherries in salads, you really should. Way better than craisins. I don't know, they taste a little sweeter, but they've got that tartness. And then the dressing I used was the Trader Joe's cranberry walnut. So I just made this freaking enormous salad. Really healthy, fairly low in fat, although I had some fat macro, so that was cool. And this is probably gonna take me forever to eat, so I'm pretty stoked. Can you make it out alive without buying anything? Um, can you make it out alive? Yeah, I can make it out alive. Can hey. I make it out alive without buying anything because you're the one that wants to go to, for the record, <laughs> Jason's the one that wants to go to Lululemon. I'm He's not gonna like, buy anything. We're gonna go to Lululemon and you're gonna buy me something, right? I'm just joking though. He's joking and should buy me something.
you did it. Made it out in 30 bucks. Just got one tank top. Could have gotten a hell of a lot more, but with looking at cars today and realizing how much money I should probably save, probably shouldn't drop a hundred bones on another pair of workout pants. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But you didn't spend thirty grand today either. On that note, True. same note. So I feel like thirty dollars or thirty grand. Like thirty grand today. We should go on a shopping spree. Can we go to Express maybe real quick if we have time? Sure. Okay. Where are we going right now? Harry. How much do you love this mall? I love it so much. <laughs> like I get withdrawal when I don't come to the mall, and like I can't. I sound like I have issues. But I can't come and like not buy anything. We seriously have like every store imaginable here. Like it just doesn't feel right to leave and not have a little shopping bag in my hand. <laughs> for yoga. They're cute and I don't, I don't know what else to say about them. Leg warmers. I don't know where else to get leg warmers from so. Comment below if you know where to get leg warmers. Right? You were looking for gray ones. I wanted gray ones. I couldn't find any. And Those not, are not gray. I don't I'm, know if you can tell. These are like a tannish color but I'm not paying $50 at Lululemon. That I will not pay for out the love. And why am I filming? Why am I filming this? Because he's so good at it. No, guys. I suck. <laughs> I'm still getting used to vlogging in front of people. Looks right now. She's so freaking perfect, it kills me. But like, all the blonde, I like, she looks amazing like that. I don't know that I look that amazing, but she makes me want to like consider doing the all blonde. I go back and forth. People either like love my hair all dark. And they're like, oh my god, you look so good. Or when I do the blonde, they're like, that looks so much better. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I don't know. I'm at J Lux Salon and I've got my lovely hairstylist here, Jelaine, doing 